I'm now going to show you how to reduce dark noise in an image. And dark noise typically results from very long exposures at night. Usually you start to see it a lot with exposures over five minutes. You can definitely still see some with shorter exposures of around 30 seconds, especially if it's warm out. The warmer it is, the more dark, dark noise you get. And it will usually appear as hot pixels where you have one really bright, uh, highly saturated pixel or it can appear as a lot of red discoloration in the image. And one way you can reduce dark noise is by taking what's known as a dark frame. The dark frame you, you will take with the identical settings that you take the rest of your images, but you will put your lens cap on and close the eyepiece of your camera. And this is an example of a dark frame and it doesn't look like much here, but when you zoom in you'll see that even though the lens cap is on and you're not capturing any external data, you are still capturing all of the dark noise in the image. And this dark noise is going to be nearly identical to the dark noise of your other shots as long as you've taken them near the same time and with the same settings in your camera. And so by simply subtracting all the information that is captured in the dark frame from your normal image, you can reduce dark noise substantially. And this, fortunately, is a very easy thing to do in Photoshop. And I'll first show how to prepare these images in Lightroom. And basically, you need to do no adjustments in Lightroom in order to keep the dark noise in both images the same. So you want to go to the Develop module and then go down to the Lightroom preset up in the Presets panel here called Zeroed, and this is located under Lightroom General Presets. So I will click on Zeroed, and you didn't see any changes to this image because it was already at Zeroed. But if you've imported the image with any settings other than Zeroed, then you will need to apply this preset to both of the images. And one other thing you can do is to actually change the profile under Camera calibration. And I have it set to Adobe Standard here, and I find that that actually works well for most images. If you change this, you can see that the dark noise actually changes considerably, and it's most pronounced in camera neutral. And in theory, it would seem like camera neutral would work best because it does as few changes to the image as possible. So if you applied camera neutral to both of these images, it might be logical that you can get the best noise reduction and you can see the noise is most pronounced here. So it would do more noise reduction to this image. And while this may work with some images, I found that sometimes it almost seems to overdo the noise reduction and I actually get a little bit better results with different profiles. And so I think Adobe Standard works well for most images, though you can try it with different profiles. And this is the only thing I'd change after applying the preset zeroed. Everything else should remain the same. You could then, after applying the noise reduction, re-import this photo into Lightroom and work on it here, especially if there's chromatic aberration around the stars, which is easier to remove in Lightroom. Or you can just do all your adjustments in Photoshop. But now that I have these ready, I will export them to Photoshop and I will select both of them and right click on one and go to Edit in open as layers in Photoshop. Okay, now once these layers are opened, you want to make sure that the dark frame is on top. So in this case, I'm going to have to drag it up. And now all you need to do is change the blending mode on the dark frame to subtract. And this now subtracts all of the dark noise that was captured in this image from the dark noise in this image. 
And since the dark noise will be very similar from shot to shot, as long as you took them close to the same time and used the exact same camera settings, it should effectively reduce the dark noise from the image. And I'll show you here a before and after. It says without the dark noise applied, you can see a lot of these hot pixels here. And then with it applied, you can see the hot pixels are gone. And some of the red discoloration in the image is also gone. And so this can be a very useful way to decrease dark noise. You can see there is still plenty of noise in the image. And most of this is luminous noise, which you cannot get rid of with a dark frame. You're better off using noise reduction software like Topaz Noise. Now you may have noticed that this image is rather out of focus, especially the stars. And that is because this is just one frame of a focus stacked image. In this case, I only focused on the near foreground. And then I have three other shots where I focused farther and farther away. And I'll then combine all of these images into one focus stacked image. And I'll go over how to do this later in the video. But in this case, I would need to apply the dark frame to all four images I took before stacking them together. And so this is really all you need to do to reduce the dark noise in your image. Now there is a feature in most cameras called long exposure noise reduction, and it will do pretty much the same thing, except the camera will take its own dark frame and apply it in camera. And this can actually be slightly more effective at reducing dark noise in an image. But the disadvantage of this is it takes as long to take the dark frame in camera as it takes to take each individual shot. If you take your own dark frame and later apply it in Photoshop, you can simply take one dark frame and apply it to any of the images that you took during the same time period. And so this takes much less time than doing the dark noise reduction in camera and is therefore my preferred method for reducing dark noise.